<clears throat> the Washington Nationals hosting the New York Mets and happy opening day to baseball fans. Now the Mets are minus 135 on the money line. The Nationals are plus 115. The over under is nine runs. The Mets laying a run and a half are plus 120. The Nationals getting a run and a half are minus 140. Now the Nationals are two and three in their past five opening days and they've lost their last two opening days to the Mets. That was in 2018 and 2019. So, I mean, I understand it was a few years ago, but food for thought. Now, these teams haven't played. It usually takes about 20 games for you to see what these teams are and what they aren't. And usually in the beginning of the year, you know, it favors the hitters because the batters are a little bit more in timing than the pitchers. Now, head-to-head -head in their past the 10 games, the Mets are 7-3. and three. The favorite is 7-3. and three. The under 9 is 6-3-1. and one. And the team who had to win the game by two runs minus a run and a half is six and four. I'm going to go clean sweep here for the Mets, and I understand that Corbin is pitching, but seemingly they played very well against the Nationals, and I know that that was last year, so before you get in the comments blasting me, we're going based off of the information that we have. I'm going to take the Mets with the money line, the Mets laying the run and a half, and I'm going to go under nine. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see if I'm wrong.